Unit 3, Lesson 11, Percentages and Double Number Lines. Number 1. Solve each problem. If you get stuck, consider using the double number lines. A. During a basketball practice, Mai attempted 40 free throws and was successful on 25% of them. How many successful free throws did she make? Well, we know she attempted 40, so 40 would be 100%. Now I want to try to fill out these double number lines. Let's start by cutting the 40 in half to make 20, because if we cut 100% in half, we get 50. Now we know 50% would be 20. Let's cut 50% in half. That would give us 25%. And then if we cut the 20 in half, we get 10. Now we know that they're counting by tens. So we go 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. If she was successful on 25% of them, then she would have been successful on 10 of her free throws because 10 is lined up perfectly with 25%. She made 10 free throws. B. Yesterday, Priya successfully made 12 free throws. Today, she made 150% as many. How many successful free throws did Priya make today? If Priya made 12 free throws yesterday, then 100% of 12 would be 12. So we know that we can put a 12 directly above the 100%. I want to try to fill out this double number line so I can do that by cutting the 12 in half to get 6 as I cut 100% in half to get 50%. So I know that 50% is equal to 6. Next I can cut 50% in half to get 25% as I cut the 6 in half to get 3. So now I know they're counting by 3's. 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18. Today, Priya made 150% as many. So we have to find 150% on the bottom number line, and directly above it, we see that she had made 18 free throws. Today, she made 18 free throws. Number two, a 16 ounce bottle of orange juice says it contains 200 milligrams of vitamin C which is 250% of the daily recommended allowance of vitamin C for adults. What is 100% of the daily recommended allowance of vitamin C for adults? The information says that 200 milligrams of vitamin C is 250% of the daily recommended allowance of vitamin C for adults. So on the double number line, we'll put 200 milligrams directly above 250%. If you count the spaces between 0 and 200 on the top number line and 0 and 250% on the bottom number line, you'll notice that there's five sections. So if you divide 200 by 5, that will give you 40. So the top number line is actually counting by 40. And if you divide 250 by 5, that will give you 50. And you'll see that the bottom number line is counting by 50. Look for 100% on the bottom number line. Look at the number directly above it. That would be 80. 80 milligrams would be 100% of the daily recommended allowance of vitamin C for adults. Number 3. At a school, 40% of the 6th grade students said that hip-hop is their favorite kind of music. If 100 6th grade students prefer hip-hop music, how many 6th grade students are at the school? Explain or show your reasoning. I started a double number line with 100 students represented on the top number line and 40% represented directly below it on the bottom number line. If we cut 40% in half, we get 20%. If we cut 100 in half, we get 50. So we're counting by 50 students across the top, and we're counting by 20% across the bottom. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 20 40%, 60%, 80%, 100%. 100% at the bottom far right, if you look directly above it, you'll see 250. So there's 250 sixth graders at the school. Number four. 
Diego has a skateboard, scooter, bike, and go-kart. He wants to know which vehicle is the fastest. A friend records how far Diego travels on each vehicle in 5 seconds. For each vehicle, Diego travels as fast as he can along a straight level path. A. 100 inches equals 254 centimeters. What is the distance each vehicle traveled in centimeters? I could have made a double number line, but I opted to simply make a table. On the left hand side I have inches, on the right hand side I have centimeters. So you could have drawn a double number line with inches on the top and centimeters on the bottom. The information says that 100 inches equals 254 centimeters. So I divided both those numbers by 100 so that I could find out how many centimeters were in one inch. And one inch is two and 54 hundredths of a centimeter. To find out the distance that the skateboard traveled in centimeters, I'm gonna to have to convert the feet to inches and then multiply that times 2.54 to get the distance in centimeters. 90 feet times 12 inches equals 1,080 inches. 1,080 inches times 2.54 equals 2,743.2 centimeters. So the skateboard traveled 2,743.2 centimeters. The scooter's distance traveled was given to us in inches. All we had to do was multiply the number of inches times 2.54. 1,020 inches times 2.54 equals 2,590.8 centimeters. So the distance that the scooter traveled was 2,590.8 centimeters. The distance that the bike traveled was 4,800 centimeters. The distance that the go-kart traveled was 0 0.03 kilometers or 3 hundredths of a kilometer. And 3 hundredths of a kilometer is 3,000 centimeters. The go-kart traveled 3,000 centimeters. B. Rank the vehicles in order from fastest to slowest. I wrote down their distance traveled in centimeters and you can see that the bike was the fastest at 4,800 centimeters. The go-kart was second at 3,000 centimeters. The skateboard was third at 2,743.2 centimeters. And finally the scooter was fourth at 2,590.8 centimeters. Number five. It takes 10 pounds of potatoes to make 15 pounds of mashed potatoes. At this rate, how many pounds of mashed potatoes can they make with 15 pounds of potatoes? I opted to make a chart again rather than a double number line. However, you could have put the number of pounds of potatoes across the top number line and the number of pounds of mashed potatoes across the bottom number line. On my chart, I start out with 10 pounds of potatoes on the left and 15 pounds of mashed potatoes on the right. I divide both of these numbers by 10 so that I can get one pound of potatoes. And with one pound of potatoes, that would make 1.5 pounds of mashed potatoes. Now I can multiply my one pound of potatoes by 15 to get 15 pounds of potatoes. And when I multiply 1.5 times 15, I'll end up with 22.5 pounds of mashed potatoes. So with 15 pounds of potatoes, I can make 22.5 pounds of mashed potatoes. B. How many pounds of potatoes are needed to make 50 pounds of mashed potatoes? Again, I chose to make a table, and you could make a double number line if you chose to. Pounds of potatoes, 10. Pounds of mashed potatoes, 15. I'm going to divide both these numbers by 15 so that I can get one pound of mashed potatoes. 15 divided by 15 is 1. 10 divided by 15 is 10 fifteenths, which is the same as 2 thirds. Now I can multiply my one pound of mashed potatoes by 50 to get 50 pounds of mashed potatoes, but I'd also have to multiply my 2 thirds of a pound of potatoes by 50 and that would give me 100 thirds or 33 and a third pounds of potatoes. 
Congratulations! You have completed Unit 3, Lesson 11, Percentages and Double Number Lines.